Hello children, is Mrs Lee here? It's assembly. Oh, can you count with me? 10, 20, 30, 1. Oh, gosh, that's a large number, isn't it? How many tens are in that number? Can you show me on your fingers? That's right, there's three tens in there, isn't there? Right, should we start off with our routine? I think we should. What's the time, Mr Wolf? Hey, well, let's look. Ooh. The minute hand, that's the long hand, is on the two. Now we know that we can count the minutes from the 12 to the two. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I could do that a quicker way. I know that each one of these numbers is worth five minutes when the minute hand's on it. So it's 10 minutes past the hour. Now what was the hour? Well we looked to the hour hand, that's a short hand, to see where it is and it's very very close to the 11. So it's 10 minutes past 11. 10 past 11, 11 10. Now if that was 10 past 11 at night you would be, that's right, you would be snoozing, snoring. But if it's 10 past 11 in the day, oh, if you're in reception, you might be feeling your tummy start to grumble because in a moment it will be lunchtime, won't it? Now, if you are in year one and year two or you're working at home, maybe, then maybe you've had a little snack just recently and you're raring to go and do lots more work. Oh, what else is on our board? Well, we're still in February, so we're still learning the language of Malayalam. Namaskaram. <laughs> and yesterday I talked to you about our Makaton sign of the week. I'm going to bring it closer to you again. You have to put your hands together, don't you? With your forefingers pointing out, your thumbs tucked in, and then you bring your hands up, and it means the word, oh, Mrs. Lee's big fingers in the way, different. And we were talking about that, weren't we? We were saying we were all different. Should we have a little go? So bring your hands like this, thumbs different. Different. Do it with me. That's right, different. Now you and me, we're all different, aren't we? We all like different things. And when yesterday we read a book by Lauren Child, which was about all the family being different. And she wanted some peace and quiet, didn't she? She had to do something a bit naughty though to get some peace and quiet. I do not recommend that. Anyway, in my basket, let me show you my basket. It's just sitting here. In my basket, I have kept this poster. Now, lots of you will remember this poster. We've talked about this poster lots of times in assemblies in autumn term. It's called the British Values poster. And if you remember, we have got one, two, three, four, five different British values. And Mrs. Lee's going to talk about a lot of them over the next coming weeks. And the first one I want to talk about is the middle one individual liberty and it says over here we can be ourselves as long as we follow the golden rules so Clarice she likes to be herself doesn't she she likes a little bit of peace and quiet do we think though that she kept the golden rules to get her peace and quiet no she didn't I do not recommend tipping spaghetti over the head of somebody to get some peace and quiet I think there's other ways that we can exercise our individual liberty. That means there are other ways that we can be ourselves, we can be different, we can be different, but not upset the person next to us, or the person in front of us, or the person behind us, or the person to the other side of us. And we're going to find out a bit more about that today. So I need you to have your good listening ears and I'm going to take you somewhere else and we're going to talk a little bit more about individual liberty. Are you ready? I'll see you in three, two, one. Hello children. Gosh, this is a first. I haven't done one of these for a long time. It's the first one for this year. So I'm going to talk to you about individual liberty now through the PowerPoint. So have a little look at the question. Can you read it with me? It says, how do we promote individual liberty in our school. Well, we do lots and lots of things, don't we? And individual liberty is about being ourselves, but making sure that we keep the golden rules. Right, have a look at the pictures. Tell the person next to you if you know any of those pictures. 
Can you see the flag? Can you see the map? Can you see a red telephone box? Now, we don't have very many of those around anymore, but they are an iconic symbol of Great Britain. Can you see the black door? Who lives there? Yes, that's right. The Prime Minister lives at number 10 Downing Street. And what's that black box? Oh, a ballot box. Oh, we had ballot boxes when we did our school counsellors. Do you remember? Wow, this is a huge list of all the different things that we do at our school. Now, some of them we have done and some of them we haven't been able to do just yet, but they all help to develop our individual liberty. So, for instance, if we came and talked to you about what you think about things, that's called pupil voice. What do you think about um, inquiry? What do you think about playtimes? You might think the same thing as me. You might think the same thing as somebody else, or you might have a different idea. We have school counsellors. Give me a wave if you're a school counsellor. <laughs> now you support individual liberty. You are bringing your ideas to the school council, and we are moving forward with lots of different things. And I may, and I know that Mrs. Dutoy will be speaking to you soon. We loved going to forest school. A forest school is where we are all individual. In fact, I think when you sit in a circle in forest school, you all have a different name, don't you? We have playtimes and lunchtimes where we can do what we want as long as we follow the golden rules. In the morning when we come into class, we have something called ready to learn time where we can go and find something to do which interests us. And it might not be the same as your friends. We sometimes have a circle time where we share our thoughts and feelings. Who goes to the rainbow room? Do you go to the rainbow room? We also have clubs. Now, not everybody gets to go to a club. Sometimes we go to sewing club, sometimes we go to the art club, we've had drama club. It depends what your interests are. We have bug club, though, and everybody's got a log into bug club. But I bet your library looks different to somebody else's library because there'll be different books in there. We have our assemblies where we all share our thoughts, don't we, in normal times. Hartford's got talent. What's that? Well, Quite often in the year, we give you the opportunity to get up onto the stage and share something that you can do. That might be playing the violin. It might be speaking in another language. It might be that you can do gymnastics. We also have our plays. Do you remember just before Christmas, the year once they did an activity? It was amazing. Everybody got to get up on stage and they showed us how they could sing and dance and act differently. We have our RE days just before the end of each half term, don't we? We've had summer fates and Christmas fates and Easter fates. <gasps> Who remembers going to Elfridges? Now, you all chose different things for your grown-ups' presents then. We have the Wow Ball and everybody gets to come up to the Wow Ball at least one time during their school year. And then we have our Sparky Starts. Do you remember going on the catwalk? And then we have our Hartford Heroes. Now, we have six Hartford Heroes, don't we? And we celebrate each one of them. And I bet you do all different things to get a Hartford Hero. So there's so many ways of sharing and showing us your individual liberty, but keeping the golden rules. OK, who fancies playing a game called Put Your Hand Up If? All right, so in a moment, we're going to play Put Your Hand Up If, and I will give you some scenarios. You only have to put your hand up if you like doing that. Now, remember, we are all different, aren't we? So what you put your hand up might not be the same as the person next to you. Let's find out. OK, are you ready? So put your hand up if you drink milk. Keeping my hands down. I don't. Put your hands up if you like football. I like watching it. I think it's quite a good game. I don't like playing it though. Put your hand up if you can speak another language. I don't have that skill. How many of you do? Oh my gosh, there's lots of you. How lucky are you? Oh, next one. Put your hand up if you like swimming in the sea. <laughs> I'm putting my hands down. I don't like swimming in the sea. I'll paddle in the sea. 
I don't like swimming in it like my family do. There you go. If you looked around and you play that game again, you'll see that some people put their hand up for all of them. Some put their hands up for none of them. Some put their hands up for one or maybe two of them. Because we are all, do you remember that word? That's right, we are all different. So children, all the things that you like to do and that I like to do help to make up our identity. Oh, that's a lovely word. Can you say it? Identity. So children, we've now learned about what individual liberty is. Remember this poster at the beginning? I said we were gonna talk about lots of the British values. We just talked about individual liberty. So in Britain, as long as we don't break the rules, so while you're at school and hopefully at home, you think about the golden rules and you act responsibly. Now, that means making the right choices. Do I choose to do this and it might hurt somebody or do I choose not to do that because I will be kind? If we act responsibly, don't break the laws, then you and me, we can do pretty much what we want to do. We can have opinions about things. So I don't like drinking milk. You like drinking milk. That's OK. It doesn't bother me if you drink milk. It shouldn't bother you if I don't drink milk, should it? Because we're all, remember that word? That's right. We are all different. We all have different opinions and that's OK as long as you're not hurting anybody. This poster talks about British values. Values also make up a part of who you are. There's lots of different values. Shall we play another game? This game is called thumbs up, thumbs down. Thumbs up means yay, you are supporting the value that I'm going to talk about. If you put your thumbs down, it means you don't support the value. Now, you need to act responsibly here. You need to be very grown up. OK, I want you to choose wisely. Are you ready? Let me see. OK, children, here we go. I'm going to read out the words that are on the slide. If you do think that's a value that you have, put your thumbs up. If you don't think that's a value that you have, you put your thumbs down. OK, are we ready? Are you gentle? I think most of the time. Are you happy? Uh, yeah, I think most of the time I'm happy. Are you friendly? That depends if it's really early in the morning. <laughs> Sometimes I can be a bit grumpy, but yes, most of the time I'm friendly. Are you kind? Ooh, I'm looking there to see there's lots of thumbs up. I really am hoping everyone's thumbs up. Are you fun? Depends what sort of person you are. Depends what fun means. Are you thoughtful? Ooh. Are you honest? Now that's a tricky one. Now, you can change the words that are on the screen if you're at home or you could play this game outside. You could think of different values and you could put them and draw them or say them or act them out and then see if your friends put their thumbs up or their thumbs down. So my final thought is, can you read it with me in the black box? You are the choices you make. Make good choices. Now we're all going to make mistakes. Mrs. Lee makes mistakes every day. And that's OK. As long as you, oh, what was that value we just saw in the slide? Thoughtful, bit like reflective Rex. Sometimes you might make a mistake. Sometimes you're going to have to think about how you could make that mistake better. How would you make sure that you don't do it again? Ah, uh, think about the choices that you make, children. We're going to finish there. Shall we finish with our school prayer? I think you should. Help me to do the things I should to be to others kind and good in all my work and all my play to grow more loving every day. Amen.
Wow, children, thank you for listening to my assembly. I know it's a little bit different today to have it on a PowerPoint. Um, right. Oh, I think I'm going to go and play that game, the thumbs up game. I'm going to go and see if the grown ups in the staff room have got any values that I have, see if we're similar. Bye.